can science, and specifically, can physics really come up with uh, foundational laws that explain the universe, that explain the way everything works? Is, isn't that really the question that we're grappling with here? I think that's a wonderful question, to which we honestly don't know the answer yet. And what's the best way to find the answer? Is to try. Right. And if we succeed, well, then yes. You know, and and you, you're never going to know if it's impossible unless you actually try. The best way to fail in something is to convince yourself that it won't work, and therefore not to try. So, if, so the if when there is also some some uh, difference of opinion in the physics community for how ambitious physics should be, right? You you mentioned something everybody agrees with that the reductionism, looking at the ultimate Lego-like building blocks, uh, that's a minimum of a theory of everything. But you mentioned there are a lot of other things we care about, like what that we that we don't understand today. Like, what about consciousness? Why are you having an experience right now? Why are these 10 to the 28 quarks in this blob here having a subjective experience? While if you just consider this rearranged food that I ate, you know, and put the big blob here, that doesn't have any experience, even though it's the same kind of quarks. You know, why is that? Some physicists feel that that's not the kind of question that physics should ask. Uh, my personal view is that that's also something we don't understand. Well, maybe and, you and can it, ask it, but the question is, can physics ever come and, up with an answer? Can uh, science ever yeah, come up with an answer? Yeah, my guess is that it actually can. You know, there are some people who would disagree and say that the, the, but it, it's still a science question. You, some people might say the reason that some things are conscious and some aren't is because you need something beyond quarks and electrons. Maybe there's some sort of life force or elan vital or a soul. Uh, then there are people who think, no, it's just a matter of putting the particles together in a very, very spe special and beautifully complex pattern. Um, until we try to see if we can actually understand it with just particles, you know, we'll never really make progress. And neuroscientists today are trying very hard to do exactly these kind of things, right? If, if there actually was some sort of, if, is some sort of um, thing beyond physics, which is having an effect on me by pushing my particles around, then if you measure my particles accurately enough, you could see this and study this soul field or whatever it is, just like we looked for the Higgs boson by saying it new forces on the particles. And if, if we see that actually, no, my quarks are moving just like Katie Fries and Marcello's equations say that they should move, then there is no outside effect. So I don't think this is beyond what, what we physicists should at least allow ourselves to think about. OK, let's get a response here. Uh, well, I would say that, well, we, 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 get, we told you what the physicist's definition of the theory of everything is. It's reductionist, and we want to explain everything in terms of one single force acting on fundamental objects, whether the particles or strings or membranes. But um, Max is going farther out there, and I'm going to talk about things that are maybe in between, namely questions that physicists are actively working on now. So even if you were to have this theory of everything, this unification of the forces, we still don't have an, that's not enough to explain, or is it, the beginning of the universe, the, the future of the universe. So the evolution of the universe from a very bizarre, what seems to us, initial state, um, as it expands now, what, what kicked that off? And so maybe in the search of this theory of the unified force, we get some hints for how to do that. String theory takes us into extra dimensions, and so maybe our universe is a, three-dimensional surface sitting inside these dimensions, and these could collide, or blah, blah, blah. Who knows? Um, that's, it, these are very, very interesting ideas. And so this is, a, this is a notch down from understanding consciousness, but still very interesting, fun problems. The arrow of time, these are, these are tough ones, but we are actively trying to pursue these. In fact, two of us were on a panel here on the arrow of time.